what's up clutch crew welcome back to another diy video where i am going to show you yet again another product that is going to make you hella cash if you use it properly so this here is a 38 by 26 inch custom canvas it is a big boy okay these things sell for about 150 dollars, so it is a huge opportunity to make you some money and if you just watch the video through and through we'll show you how to do it all right let's go do this canvas you're going to need a staple gun you're going to need four canvas um side rails i'm not sure of the actual technical name however this is what i'm using they are from hobby lobby and this the big ones was 4.99 and the short ones was 3.39 so all together i think my total was 17 dollars and then of course you need your large printed image so this is a friend of mine who got married last year and he wants an extra large per picture of his wedding photo. The photographer is on there. He said to leave it on there. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up. If you don't have a wide format printer similar to mine, that's how I printed it. As you'll see in a small short video, um, you can actually order these on some kind of banner website. Just order just the banner. No, no stand, no grommets, no finish, and you can do this product. So first things first, you're gonna take your frame and you're gonna construct your frame. So you're gonna put the long end into the short end. And then if you see here, they are crossed opposites. So you go like that, push it together. You'll take the short end right here and attach it to the long end. Okay, so this, this step here, you cannot skip. If you skip this step, you're gonna have so many issues with your, with your um, canvas. So in this corner here, right there, I know y'all can see it now, you're gonna apply staples. I try and do three and make sure they go all the way in and hold it firm. And do that on every single side. Okay, so I've already kind of started and my lines look crooked because this part is going beneath the canvas, so no worries there. Anyway, so you want to trim all your sides off because I overprinted on purpose. And then to know where my fold lines are, I'm going to snip at the seam of my design because as you see, I, I've mirrored the image and I did that so that it had a clean look but this is so I know where the canvas is going to be the center so right there is where my center is gonna be I'm actually gonna cut that too so right now your artwork should look like that in every corner. Like I said, that is to make it easier. So at this point, you're going to flip the whole picture over and we'll go from there. All right, so your picture is flat on its face and you're gonna take your frame and you see where I cut them slits? Now you see why, right? Cause now you know exactly where your picture needs to go. Cause if you can see that, Scoot it a little up for you, right here and right here. That's gonna be the end of your design. So I always, always, always start on short ends because that way you have less room for error. I fold it up, make sure it's even. And then I'll just make like an initial staple before I hold it tight make sure my lines are correct and they look to be that looks to be the case so i'll hold that down tight do another staple and then we'll go 
go on the other end. So as you see, I'm just going over it with the staple on each side. And I kind of sped through this part because it's like, once you do one side, it kind of all makes sense. But make sure you're stretching that material all the way across and you're stapling it multiple times throughout the back of the frame because it's going to make for a much cleaner look. And here you see I am just stapling on the inside of the frame. I am doing that to make sure it has a clean look. But be sure that you're careful not to staple the outside of your design because it will be very ugly from the front. And I am cleaning up the corners before I staple them down. Just again, for a cleaner look. Um, nobody's gonna see that part because it's gonna be hanging on the client's wall, so no worries there. So of course, somebody may notice, and if you didn't, then I'm gonna point it out anyway. But I did not install a hook on this video. I did after the fact, so no worries there. The client did get a hook to hang it up on a wall, but I actually have forgot to get it from Hobby Lobby until afterwards. Anyway, so I want to show y'all side by side that this canvas is literally the same size as my freaking TV. That TV is 50 inches, okay? So FYI, locally these things sell for about $149. A little bit bigger size up is about $200. So yes, there's money to be made in these. So you're welcome for the free game. <laughs> if you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.